Hey guys, wanted to go ahead and talk about a technique here uh, or something that you could buy which could be really helpful uh, for voiceover or for anybody. This isn't just for voiceover, but even anybody who's making a video on YouTube. You ever run into a situation where uh, you're talking and then you go really like you, something gets you excited and you yell and then you lose the track. You basically, you clip out the track, right? Um, what, you can actually, what you can do is this, to actually save the recording and actually, it could actually be pretty helpful. Um, if you have an interface with two inputs, um, what you can do is get, you can get a mic splitter. So this mic splitter, this one unit is $10. You can buy it on, on Amazon. And it's extremely helpful because what you can do is actually <clears throat> you can record off of one microphone. And one microphone will actually record it as is um, at that volume, and the other will record it at that volume. So what does that mean? That means, okay, I'm going to yell really quick. Mic check, one, two, three. <clears throat> right? You can see that that clipped. Watch. If you look at the recording here, that that clipped and that didn't and what that shows you is basically that you can actually with that recording that recording is actually on here was clipped so you can't use that audio but you can actually use it on here and actually amplify that track so when you look on over here if I go my track one two three do you see that over there I can take that track on the bottom and I can amplify that track and I can save the recording. So that's pretty helpful if you're in a situation where you have a, a character with a lot of dynamic range. Let's say it's a character or let's say you're doing a video and you just get super excited and you, like I get excited, you know, and you know, you yell, you can save your recording. You can, you can basically never have a bad recording and you will never clip out your audio. So what about, so people will say two different things and I want to kind of address them. The first thing we'll say, people will say is, well, you don't have to worry about that. Just set it at a good gain and never touch the gain. Well, that's actually not true because with some interfaces, I would say, I know for sure with the Focusrite in particular, but I would say other interfaces like the UMC22, um, you're going to run into problems because, so for example, with the Focusrite, I know that around 12 o'clock here, that's a good speech, regular speech volume. But I know that for yells, you want to be about right about there. So if you take this track here and you whisper, right? it's gonna be this small. And when you amplify that track, you're gonna get a lot of hiss in that recording. So that's a big problem, right? So this way, you can get really clean recordings. But the second thing people will say is, well, you can just do compression. The problem is this, <laughs> compression is a skill. You have to learn how to do compression correctly. And I would argue it would take time, a lot of times to learn it correctly. And there is something called bad compression. I've heard it. What is bad compression? Bad compression is two things, okay? Uh, one okay there's two ways to get a bad compression first is just they just that thing where it just sounds overly compressed quote unquote and that's bad right and i can't explain it you just know it but the second which actually is something that's important just as well is it sounds good it sounds fantastic but you lose the acting right what about a character that talks like okay i'm gonna do a really just bad acting here but just hear me out a character goes well i mean i was thinking about getting her some flowers but <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to get it for okay. You see that? That is really quiet and it goes really loud. You do compression. What compression does is it kind of it shrinks all your audio and it kind of makes it like level all across. You don't want that for certain acting because some acting is you lose all that nuance. It goes up and down, up and down. You don't lose that anymore if you use a mic splitter because basically if you peek out, this will save you, right? And uh, yeah, I think it's pretty useful. Basically, you can find this for about $10. A couple things that you want to do that's really important. Make sure that you record in stereo, and what happens is you want to split when you're like, I only can speak audacity terms. Yep, I'm, I'm, I'm a pleb, okay? So basically in audacity, what you do is once you record in stereo, then again, you have two recordings and one you can save, and now you can basically go back, and what you do is you split it into mono. So you'll have one track on the bottom, one track on the top, and basically whatever the quiet one is, for the majority of it, you can generate silence on that, but on the tracks where it's yelling, you can you have to do the basically balance it out so that um, you can save your recording. So any recordings that are clipped, you can save it. So yeah, definitely check it out. Mic splitter, ten dollars. Again, same microphone uh, could be useful for someone. So yeah, that's all I want to say. Okay, bye.